From moving day. Ah. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I'm about to hop in the shower, but first, this morning, um, I checked my email before I hopped in, before I got in the shower, and am I okay? I meant before I worked out. <laughs> this brand I've been talking to, they're called Tonic Living. They have amazing, beautiful pillows. I found them through, once I was deciding my color scheme for the room, I was Googling like sea mist blue, and apparently that was like, I don't know if that was a like color of the year, it was their color of the year or something. And they have so many pillows in this color, so I reached out to them, and they're down to send some pillows, and they price these, so I'm excited about that. But <laughs> I cannot decide which setup I like better. So basically, the color's slightly off, but you can get the general idea. Here, let me turn with the brightness, perhaps. Oh, brightness is up, okay. So this is option one. These are like a green blue, again, like a sea mist color. This one's a little bit more green. And then the little stripes going on in that are kind of like the same green blue color. So these three, my botched pick monkey like attempt at showing what how I would display that on the bed. Or these three where basically we just have like the same shade but just like contrasting kind of. Like we go dark a little lighter and then our little pop statement velvet pillow. So this one I'm like, all right, do I like it with the white because I'm gonna have a white duvet? Is this gonna seem like too random? Is it gonna be better to tie it in a little better? I also just sent the screenshots to my best friend Caroline who's an interior designer. She's never failed me yet with this new room. She's been so helpful. So we're gonna see what she thinks and I'll probably just follow her opinion. This all looks greener than it is, but this is the general vibe of the room. It is moving week. It's moving week. Woo! Okay, I'm sitting here just getting so excited about the fact that I moved this week. <laughs> um, I'm just doing some editing. My goals for the day, let me let me read you the old to-do list. I need to reply to a bunch of emails. I need to figure out basically my two main channel videos for the next two weeks. I need to finish packing. I need to submit some Fabletics things that I shot yesterday. Oh, I need to do laundry, that is urgent. Our new place doesn't have a washer and dryer, which is pretty random, and we have not gotten those yet, so I feel like I really need to wash everything that might need to be washed because I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to get that settled out. Also, I slept terribly last night. Perhaps don't make a to-do list while you're in bed like about to go to sleep. I was doing it last night and I, as I do sometimes so that I could like time out when I needed to wake up to have certain things done by certain times. But then I guess it stressed my subconscious out because last night I dreamed that I was like editing this video and it was taking forever. Then I was dreaming I was doing all these things on my to-do list. And then I low-key, this sounds stupid because it is. I woke up in panic and it was really scary. I dreamed that I was on a boat and somehow like knocked out like half of my two front teeth just like down the middle and then they kept chipping higher and higher and i was freaking out because i didn't want the root to come out so that they could assemble the rest of my tooth or something i don't know and then i like couldn't get to my dentist office it was very scary and then i met a girl who had had hers the same thing happen to her and she went to that dentist and she was like yeah you fixed it so well and her teeth were like two different colors and i was like this is gonna look terrible forever i don't know how i got on that subject oh but basically i just didn't really sleep well last night but thankfully my excitement about this move is like energizing me so i'm gonna knock out this computer stuff at last i have both my vegan 30 days video you guys are probably so tired of hearing me mention this in the chloe ting video sorry if it's been annoying but since today is the 30th of the month i am about to be done with both of those things and i am so excited i get to have avocado toast back tomorrow finally both of those videos have been fully rough cut i have written out my little script that tomorrow i need to um, film the sit down portions for tomorrow morning. We also are gonna since it's October 1st We do like start our lease on the house tomorrow um, Even though our movers are for Friday I'm probably gonna run over there Well, I am gonna run over there to meet the landlord to get keys and stuff and probably I don't know bring a couple things over there so I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning come back film these two things and then pack any like last-minute stuff or maybe like just finish editing those videos and now we are packing our final things in the house <sighs> What a journey <laughs> at this point everything downstairs is packed except for like the blender, like a handful of items I knew I'd be using this week. I just need to pack up a couple more things in the closet room and then things in like my dresser, just like things that are out that are decor. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna get started. I would love to finish basically all of that today. That's what I'm gonna start doing. All right, TikTok had me buy this. <laughs> this is a fabric shaver. I'm scared. I don't know if this is gonna work, but basically it's supposed to remove. This isn't even a bad example. I have like some pretty bad examples of shirts and stuff that have really pilled a lot. So in theory, this just shaves it off. Is it gonna work? I'm pretty skeptical. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's working! 
Oh my God, are you seeing this? I truly didn't think this was going to work. All right, it works, I'm shocked. It is all gone. <laughs> all right, these are our few final things in here. Pack it up. Turn that up. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm at the house. I'm not fully moving till tomorrow. So I'm not really gonna show much because I'm doing a big moving video. But we here, we got keys. The landlord is off and we are in. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby and I just moved. <laughs> no, we didn't. Well, we moved Wait, what am I in. saying? We, we didn't. We literally just nothing in. got a key. <laughs> we did the um, walk. <laughs> yeah. And we now decided we're gonna walk and get coffee in the little explore the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, my month of vegan is over. So I got a pumpkin cream cold brew. Quick story as well. So we were just in this Starbucks waiting on our drinks, and this guy who's probably just like a little older than us comes in on A, he's not wearing a mask, but B comes in on like a bird scooter and I had just said to Shelby being a kid during like all of this would be kind of hype going into like our Trader Joe's and our Starbucks whatever they have like lanes like colorful lanes like all over with arrows I feel like as a kid it would just be cool to like pretend you were a little race car or something and so I had just said that and then this guy put, comes in on his scooter and is like f literally starts doing laps and is out and is yelling like we and we were all like what and the employee was like sir you have to wear a mask and he was like and you cannot ride the scooter around the store but I'm now gonna go home pack up my final things this is pretty much it um I'm chilling I feel like I've done a good job at like doing like packing certain things and accomplishing all of my tasks throughout time so like I'm not stressed at all like I'm very I feel very prepared and I didn't want to show too much of the house right now I decided I am gonna do a big moving vlog it's gonna be edited like super well I've already started on it it's gonna go on my main channel on the 11th so keep an eye out for that I'm wearing a little graphic tee from Princess Polly today so I just wrapped up filming my intros and that's the end that's it for this room and main channel videos that's crazy so now I can take down all this stuff I had like kind of left this backdrop for the video, of course, but whoa, I like feel weird a little bit. It's weird. All right, A, now I made a beautiful little flower arrangement. B, I'm gonna take out these prints that Adrian has hated for so long. And we're gonna switch them back to what they were back in the old days. Comment below if you remember this artwork. You're an OG, if so. Much time has passed. It's now seven o'clock. I've done my last load of laundry at this house. I finished my Chloe Ting video, finally going up on the main channel. I just post made to dinner. And I'm about to eat and still have a few things to pack. And it's the last night. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. It feels like it's the night before Christmas. I'm so excited. My very random dinner. <laughs> Greasy face alert. It's also my first day as a non-vegan because September is over. You know, on to the final moving boxes. I truly never thought I'd see the day. Also, I know I have a lot of stuff, but I have apparently way more stuff than the average person like Shelby saw how many moving boxes I had and was like horrified. Like, so. I don't know. Why do I have so much stuff? Great question. Last night with the rumors. My hands are full. What is this mountain? Yes. We were laughing that about a, how we lived here for a year and had a box TV stand. Who remembers? B, how we used to have a pile of boxes here yeah. for like years, <laughs> like a good year. And I'm like, oh, another box mountain, like leaving it the way I came. <laughs> The night before the move, I literally like, I don't know how I'm gonna go to sleep right now. I'm also being perhaps a little bit crazy. I just walked in my room and shut the door and I was like, this is the last night I'm ever gonna walk in here and shut the door to go to bed. <laughs> Cause I wanna soak up the moment. We were just watching a movie down there and I was like, last time watching a movie with the roommates, looking around in my house and just like, I don't know, feeling just such strong gratitude for this place. <laughs> I'm also so excited for my big moving vlog. Like I have so many ideas. This is gonna be the coolest video. I'm so excited. I sincerely apologize that you're gonna have to wait a little bit for that, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Um, And it'll give me some time to just like fully focus on like vlogging a ton the whole process without having to think about like editing it yet necessarily. So yeah, this vlog, I don't even know what, what was it? I don't know, I don't know what it was. <laughs> As you can imagine, if you've ever moved the last like 24 hours have just been insane. I'm just proud of myself that I was able to like time out all my tasks, like my videos are planned out for like the coming weeks. I've got mine finished for this weekend, like, Everything's just good. It's been a very smooth process. Is there time left for things to go wrong? Absolutely. Will they? I don't know. We're gonna see. Tomorrow I do move. I have my place here still till the 10th. So there's quite a bit of overlap, um, which has been really nice because I haven't had to yet like think about getting every single item out tomorrow or the next day or whatever. I have some things here that I do want to try to still sell like my bedroom rug that's from West Elm that I just got recently and didn't get too much use out of it. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with like donating my desk situation. Just like a few other random items that I'm not gonna bring as well as like I want to come back and like clean the place up of course and like get it to like 
you know, good conditions. That's what's coming. I, oh, my battery's blinking, so I guess this is where we're gonna cut it off. Last full vlog in this house. This has been such a good house. I'm just like, I'm feeling really excited. It's like masking how I also feel sad. I don't know, so many, so many thoughts, so many feelings. This is probably gonna die. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my new house in my next vlog. Good night.